In winter, I installed a Precision 9 compass uh, in the center of the board there, level with the surface of my garage, and I didn't calibrate it concerning the uh, pitch and roll axis. Uh, now I've decided to calibrate these two settings and will soon explain why. Let's start with the calibration on the ground. And look when I'm on the ground on the trailer straight, uh, then I have pitch one and roll one before any calibration. So look now I have zeros here and I think we will set the minus one, let's see. So you can see I did this calibration, it's quite simple, being on the ground. And now I actually have to decide what I really wish to have in the lake. And what I actually need uh, in the lake, being in the water, yeah? Uh, well, guys, I don't know, yeah? So if we uh, take this um, position, zero, zero, like the default one, when uh, the board is straight in all directions, uh, would it be the right zero position or actually when we are in the water and stern uh, is down is this is this the zero or initial position well it's all probably about use cases and I actually don't know what is my well, well I will tell you about my use case but I don't know what should I actually do so I will be experimenting and my use case actually I want to monitor uh, efficiency of uh, trim tabs automations. So I have the trim tabs and I installed automation uh, Menta Marine there and I want to monitor uh, the angles, all angles starting from the zero, from the initial position. That is my use case. So now I am on the water doing slow trolling um, after we set uh, zeros on land. Uh, with a standard balance with couple fuel tanks there at the stern, uh, a box uh, there uh, at, in the, at the bow and me sitting somewhere here in the center, we see pitch uh, 3 and roll 5. Well, okay, let me stay somewhere in the middle. Let's let's say like this and we have minus two, well minus one and even zero, yeah. Okay. I traveled to a fishing spot uh, on a planing boat or at a cruising speed balanced by this uh, Mente Marine automatic for trim tops. And now I will show you what I had.
you have seen analog uh, widgets here and they have problems here on this Lawrence I should report them uh, you have seen that sometimes it drop here uh, clockwise uh, is actually when we have a negative value I um, understood it later so that's why I uh, return this uh, digital um, uh, digital numbers so I will report them okay so we just have seen something I will describe this in the comment in the description section so currently zero is uh, the level on land or let's say the bottom plane of the board is parallel uh, to the asphalt surface and from th from this zero we see uh, this uh, deviation when I'm sitting here yeah well I'm sitting uh, yeah well uh, when I'm here we can see the negative value there so uh, at cruising speed you saw a different uh, deviation you have seen something uh, so what should we take as zero uh, this current position or leave zero relative to the asphalt this I mean this one no? uh, or accept the balanced cruising speed as zero when we are balanced well regarding the roll it's clear it should be zero in any condition under any conditions right so it's clear uh, if not ask me in comments uh, so uh, but what take a zero for the pitch I still haven't decide uh, what do you think uh, let me know in the comments and we will test the efficiency of this automation in the next video so if you're not subscribed yet uh, please subscribe